I'm executive director of the Electronic Privacy Information Center in Washington, and we're online at epic.org. So I'm at this conference to represent uh, the interests of civil society to help ensure that the OECD, as it considers policies for the future of the internet economy, takes into account the people whose lives are going to be impacted uh, by these policies. And that includes, of course, citizens and consumers and workers. Uh, we organized a meeting this week. Uh, I gave a report to the OECD ministers. And I'm looking forward to the presentation later today by the Secretary General uh, to see if our work was uh, worth the effort. Well, I am hopeful that the Internet will make it possible for more people to participate in decision making, for more people to have access to information and knowledge, to see an improvement um, in education and in health, uh, in labor conditions. Uh, the ability to take on new challenges to protect the environment. It is an enormous uh, platform that brings together people who share common interests, provides them with the opportunity to work together, and I'd like to see all those possibilities uh, realized. Well, I think it doesn't happen by itself. I think one of the tricks is to understand the technology doesn't solve a problem. It simply provides people with a tool that makes it easier for them to begin to take on the challenges that they face. And when you're given a powerful tool like the internet, you need to use it smartly. You need to have some technical skills to understand what it's possible to do. Uh, you need to have a bit of skepticism to understand what some of the risks might be. And you need to be prepared to make some informed decisions about how the technology can be used to maximize the benefits and to minimize the costs. It actually takes a bit of work. It's a little harder than blogging or, or friending people on Facebook. Uh, but I hope that people are up for that challenge. Well, one of my greatest fears, of course, and I'm concerned about privacy, is that we reveal so much of our personal information in this online environment. And whereas in the old days that just disappeared like vapor, uh, now it's all being recorded. Uh, it's being kept in large data centers that are operated by big corporations and by government agencies. And I think if there are strong policies in place to make sure that information is not misused, then we can minimize the risks to privacy. But if we don't have strong policies, then I'm concerned that these large corporations and government agencies, knowing our most intimate secrets, the things that we care about and the things that we're afraid of, uh, will be able to manipulate us. And uh, that concerns me a great deal, and it's one of the reasons that I think that privacy is probably one of the greatest challenges we face um, in the information economy. Well, Internet governance is a very tricky issue. I actually believe that most governance should take place in traditional democratic structures. I think people should be able to elect their leaders. I think there should be open debate. I think decisions by governments uh, should be public, should be accountable, and should be transparent. It's not clear to me at this point that the Internet really needs a governance structure. I would prefer to see traditional government structures, such as national governments and international organizations, that have some of these democratic traditions uh, be responsible for the decision making. Well, I just want to say I think it's great to see you and others who are here and interested in these issues. Uh, a lot of very thoughtful people have come to Seoul, Korea to talk about these policy issues. And it's a remarkable time, too, because even as we're talking in this conference hall, about the future of the internet economy. We know that there are also a lot of people in Seoul who've been protesting. They're concerned about the impact of the new economy on their jobs, on protection of health. And I think we need to take their perspectives into account as well, because the decisions that are being made here impact people all around the world, including the people right here in South Korea. Scary both good and bad. <laughs>